Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another December daily video. Um, I've decided to share some of the presents that I got for Christmas because it was quite popular a couple of years ago and this is all Harry Potter related. Um, as you know I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, my friends and family always revert to get me Harry Potter presents and I thought I would share them with you because I know a lot of you are as big a fan as I am. Now this first present was from one of the children at school and it says since Harry Potter had a spare card he decided to give it to you um, and this is really really sweet it came in this plastic bag and then inside the plastic bag was this necklace here with the Deathly Hallows on it quite a long chain as well um, and then it was a wax sealed envelope that's addressed to Mr H Potter and then when I opened it up inside, it's made a very, very thick cardstock. And obviously it has ripped slightly here. That's because obviously I've had to try and take the wax seal off without breaking the seal itself. I didn't want to damage the wax seal because it looks great. Um, it comes with these two letters. So you've got Harry's acceptance letter to Hogwarts. And you've also got um, his equipment list, his uniform, his course books and stuff. And they're just really, really cool. It's a really unusual present. I've never been bought anything like this. So I loved it. And actually, in the packet as well, and I'm not sure what I've done with it. I was showing my family yesterday. Um, it came with a little card that was your ticket to Platform three, 9 and 3 quarters ticket on the train. Um, I wish I had that to hand to show you. Um, if you're interested, I'll, I'll include it in another video. Just comment below if you want to see it, or I'll send you a photo or something. But I just thought that was really, really cool. So that was from one of the children at school. Um, then I've got an absolute array of presents so this was from the other year two teacher um and she bought this for me for christmas so this is a little satchel clutch bag i believe this is from primark i've not seen it in there myself actually so really really happy with this and it's got the little closure there in order to open it it's got quite a long handle i love the long handle bags um and it's got a fair amount of space in there so oh sorry i probably shouldn't do that on camera really really happy not to rustle too much really really happy with that i'm going to start using that for school i think the kids will love it and i love these little golden snitches on the side i think that's beautiful detailing um i'm not normally a gold person but that looks really good on the bag um then my mum included this in my stocking this is a golden snitch vanilla lip balm again this is from primark and again this is an item that i haven't seen when i've been in there so if i can try and open it without ripping my hands apart um, <laughs> I don't know I'm going to be open, able to open this on camera See this is terrible planning you see See most people would have made sure that this was open Before they started filming But then again I'm not most people and I don't think that far ahead So yeah so here is the little golden snitch And then it's just there at the bottom Is the lip balm So I don't know how much that costs As I say I did not pick that up um, then my sister bought me a lot of Harry Potter stuff this year, some of which I asked for, which I've shared already, so I'm going to share very, very briefly. There's these four house-coloured nail varnishes from Boots. Um, Slytherin is my house. I absolutely love dark green. I've actually got dark green on a model's own one at the minute, but that's a really lovely colour. Um, and I really love the fact that these are in the different houses. And alongside that, she bought me these four hand creams one for each house and they do have different scents i shared these in my haul from stratford upon avon and then there was also a hedwig hand cream that i didn't take out the box but how cute is this and it smells lovely so you unscrew hedwig's head and the hand cream's in there and it's a really really lovely scent i can't actually remember what the scent is because i haven't got the box anymore but really really love it i can smell patchouli i think in that um, that same sister bought me a couple of surprise presents. She bought me a little pin badge for Spew, um, which is obviously the Elf, ha Elf, the Society for the Prevention, no, for the Protection of Elf Welfare that Hermione sets up in the books. And she picked up a little pin badge of that, which I'm not sure what I've done with that because I was wearing it yesterday. And she picked up this, the little severed hat, severed hat, severed head from Prisoner of Azkaban um, on the night bus. So it's a Funko Pop pen. I bought a pen like this with Darth Vader on recently for Matt um, and they write really nicely but yeah so I just thought that he looks disgusting and really cool at the same time so absolutely loved that she picked that up she got one for me and my other sister and then the other sister oh no and then that same sister sorry also picked me up these 
and I absolutely love these always is one of my favorite quotes the two quotes that I remember most and that I love most from Harry Potter are always which obviously is one of Snape's quotes and also the one that Dumbledore says um about turning on the light um dark happiness can be found in the darkest of places when one only remembers to turn on the light that one there um, and then obviously you've got the mischief managed candle and then you've got this one here exceptionary ordinary exceptionally ordinary which is a Luna Lovegood quote um, and I'm not sure on the sense of these candles actually does it say I don't actually know if they they are fragrance or if they're just it's the candles themselves but I don't think I'm going to be burning these anytime soon they're going to go on my Harry Potter shelf um the other sister picked me up this little Dobby pin badge Dobby is my favorite character by far if you watched my little room tour you'll have seen my little Dobby teddy and my Dobby, Dobby mug that I have by my tv um absolutely adore Dobby and this pin badge is super super cute so absolutely love that I'm going to put it on my lanyard at school so he's with me all the time um and then Matt picked me up a couple of Harry Potter presents actually so he picked me up one of the Fantastic Beasts items I don't really have anything else Fantastic Beasts but I absolutely love the Niffler I think he's amazing and Matt saw this when we were in York I think he actually ended up buying this online but this is a really, really cute, a very heavy pen. It's like a dark blue here with the gold and it's got the little niffler on the top. So he is adorable. Love him. He's definitely my favourite animal in either of the Fantastic Beasts films. Love him. So he picked me up that pen. And then this was a little surprise present. I didn't know about this one. He's already bought me a couple of watches for Christmas. But knowing that Dobby was my favourite character, he also picked me up this Dobby watch how cute is that it's only a little small face I love it it'll be great for work with this kind of nude coloured strap it's like a gold face but I think that that's super super cute love the little Dobby face is it gonna focus nope there you go I thought that was really really sweet so really happy with that gift there. And then the rest of the Harry Potter items are from my mum. My mum goes Harry Potter mad every year because she knows I love them. She picked me up some Primark socks. So I have lots of Primark Harry Potter socks. Um, I don't have these ones though. So you've got the four houses. And I do, does anyone else do this? I do tend to wear socks based on my mood. Like if I know that I'm going to be in a bad mood, if I'm going to be grumpy about something, I 100% put on Slytherin. If I know I'm going to have a tough day at work and I need to be brave, I'll put on Gryffindor. If I need, if I've got like a test or some training, I'll put on Ravenclaw. And then if I'm just feeling loving and happy, I'll put on the Hufflepuff ones. Like, am I the only person that does that? I might be, but I think that's really fun. So all my other house socks, I do tend to wear different ones or colour coordinate them to my outfits. But then that's just me. I'm Harry Potter and I'm sad. Um, She also picked me up this. I think it's from the works. So it's got all these little ways um, in here to make Harry Potter. Um, and it's crochet and knitting, I think. So it says, learn to knit, learn to sew, and learn to crochet. So it says, seven craft ideas, Harry Potter creations. So I think you can make all these different characters. I think you can, I think you knit the hat by the looks of it. It looks like it's suggesting to knit the hat, sew the characters, or crochet Harry and Hedwig. So that's really fun. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go next week when I'm off work. And then the last few items that she picked up for me were pyjamas. I am a huge fan of pyjamas. And so every year I get some nice new Harry Potter ones. I've got the Slytherin ones from Primark. So you get Draco in the pocket and the Slytherin emblem on here. So that's the top. And I think it's just a t-shirt. Yeah, it is. Just a cap sleeve t-shirt. Um, and it says Slytherin around the bottom. And then it comes with these stripy green and white trousers. You can get them in all the different houses, but as I say, Slytherin is mine. Then I picked up this tracksuit here. So it's really light grey. It's got Harry's um, lightning scar and his glasses here. And then it comes with a crew neck jumper um, with the same emblem on it. Uh, this is just going to be nice for dossing around the house. I won't wear this out. It is a pyjama tracksuit. Um, but just for dossing around the house on like those cosy winter days. And then in my Christmas Eve box, my mum has got these. And I'm not actually sure where they're from. But they're this dark purple. They're knitted. I don't really like knitted ones. Oh, George. So it's Asda. These are Asda ones. I do wear my pyjamas quite oversized as well. I like them baggy. 
Um, so you've got this HP and silver with the snitch and you've got these little stars and the trousers are cuffed bottoms, tracksuit type bottoms with all the stars on as well. So those are my Harry Potter items for this year, as I say. Um, I think my favourites are probably the candles because I love, 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 love that always one. The Dobby watch, definitely. Um, and possibly this pen because he's so creepy and I love it at the same time I was not expecting that she bought me and my sister the same one I just thought that was really really fun are they my favourites? yeah probably it's really, I love it all I love them all so Toby and I are going to go now and we're going to say thank you for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it um, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye bye